Well, here's something that most of us are guilty of. Studies show that one third of all food in the United States goes uneaten and the average family of four spends $1,500 a year on food that never gets consumed. Yeah, that's why Jennifer England from 412 Food Rescue is here to give us some simple ways to reduce food waste at home. Uh, and you have a nice a nice spread of food items yeah. here. Yes, yeah. tell well, us about what you brought. Well, thank you for having me. Mm -hmm. So yeah, food waste in a landfill contributes more greenhouse gases than global airline travel. We're not wow. gonna stop wow. flying, mm -hmm. but we can stop wasting food at home. Mm -hmm. yeah. The number one tip I have for you is do what works for your family. So for example, Cut fruits and vegetables tend to go bad faster than whole. So you should buy whole, except I will never break this down. These are terrible. So I'm going to buy the pre-cut. So that's an example of like doing what works for you. I'm laughing right now because we have this yes. exact package of this butternut one. squash yeah. from Trader Joe's in our refrigerator yep. right now. And but they do go bad they really do. quickly. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So secondly, learn how to properly store your fruits and vegetables. Um, the gas one. emitters will over ripen things like bananas and avocados really quickly. So you want to separate those out. So where do you put your, because we just learned about this. Refrigerator. We just yeah. learned to put but your apples. Banana Bananas too? No, no, bananas on the counter. Okay, okay. Apples in the fridge. But if you separate yep. them, because yep. otherwise, if you put them close to each other, then these are going to ripen like yep. crazy, and then mm -hmm. you're going to be making banana bread Avocados. for days. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so next, make sure your fridge is not where good food goes to die. Organization is key. I love these clear bins. We put all of our proteins in this. That makes uh, means that the tofu is not getting shoved to the back of the fridge where I forget it. Because yeah, because oh, you forget like about this. it, and it just yep. ends up. Yep. Oh, you end up wasting it. And I label everything. So uh, clear glass containers, but I also label with mm -hmm. a date so I know what it is and when it went in there. Yeah, then when Smart. things, you're just not going to use it, right? You just, you, like, you're going out to eat whatever. Stabilize is key. You can freeze everything. I love to use these for freezing the extra coconut milk in the can or tomato paste. Oh, like that's that. a big mm. one. Who uses more than two tablespoons Well, and that's the thing. Paste, right? even, even if you buy the small jar, you're still left with half the jar right, yep, when right. you're done using it for yep. the recipe. And then you can dry just about anything. That's dried watermelon. It's this delicious. This is dried wow. watermelon? It is so tasty. You can pickle watermelon rind. And then, of course, you can pickle or dry just about anything. That's literally my leftover vegetables from <laughs> last week's uh, food. There's like fajita. Uh, peppers in there and some stir fry and, stuff. And you know what? I have a food dehydrator option on my air fryer and I never thought to yes. use it for this purpose. That's amazing. Amazing. Yeah. Right. And finally, composting should be your last resort. You think, mm -hmm. what's the harm? It's not going in a landfill. But a lot of the carbon impact of our food is on the front end the growing, the transporting, the manufacturing, right? If you throw it in the compact, uh, composter, you're doubling the carbon footprint of your food. Because, oh, you I You have see. to regrow. So think about your cup of coffee. If you make a full pot of coffee, right, you throw away half of it, tomorrow you still need the same amount of beans, right? That's you right. just threw away today's coffee, you got to regrind those beans, rebrew mm. the coffee, twice the impact of that cup of Yes, yeah. Well, tell us a little bit about uh, 412 Food Rescue and the yeah. app that you guys use because right. it's pretty clever. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, so it makes rescuing food from retailers really easy. So we rescue food from grocery stores and we get it to places that are serving people who need food. Mm -hmm. Our volunteers can download the app at the App Store um, or on the, the Google Google Play, uh, Google Store, and they register to volunteer and a notification will pop up like Uber and say, hey, there's food that needs to be rescued. They can do it anytime they have a free couple of minutes. And that's something, if you're at home and you're thinking, well, what can I do to help? Yes. You can be one of those volunteers that exactly. picks up food. And don't feel bad if you're wasting food. We all waste food. I waste food. Oh my gosh, do I waste food. I try not to, but just bring it down. We can all reduce 25% this month, maybe 50% next month. Just bring down how much food we're wasting. Yeah. We'll have a really valuable impact. And I think to see the growth of 412 Food Rescue, even just through the volunteers' eyes, mm -hmm. these volunteers who come out for the first time, they're amazed by the process. Yes, yes. Right? Absolutely. Yeah. Love OS just did a rescue for us, actually. That's amazing. Yeah. Wonderful. What does he not do? Yes, at all. <laughs> incredible that guy thank you so much for coming on today yeah, ahead of for having day, me. really good reminders yes. for all of us if you're interested in volunteering or learning more about 412 food rescue we're going to have more information on our website just head to kdka.com talk pittsburgh all right come